Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So, our defenses are done building now. So we're fully stacked on our defenses. This guy's up and running. And I have all three of them pointed at this one sentry, so I think it's going to be pretty hard to beat my base. Uh, but no one's tried yet. So I'm still waiting. I'll let you guys know how it does. I added this. It has a ton of strength. So it's going to really take a lot of time to beat that. But today we're going to upgrade these. I really need the extra space. Look at all that extra space. So we're going to upgrade both of these. And I got the army ready, or my programs. And we're going to go do an attack. I'm not sure what else I need to upgrade right now especially since I drained all my cash and B coins and these are way too expensive to upgrade at the moment right now I'm getting these so hopefully we'll be able to use those in action soon enough in future episodes. I've seen them used on my base. They're really good. So let's go on the attack. I got, I found this guy, Blood Eagle. Got a decent amount. We're gonna get started right away. Looks pretty easy. He only has a few defenses. going well. We'll take it out soon. And there we go. And there we go. Done. We gotta stop that from spreading any further, the antivirus. You can see that little silver ball underneath the core as it fills up with black we want to stop that and we did and that's pretty much all the resistance there was so this should be just some cleanup I'll be back when I'm done with the raid so you can see all the money I made alright guys just finishing up here and as you can see all his money was in his mines. Yeah, well, so there wasn't really anything in the storages. That'll happen sometimes. I think you can get more from them than you can the storages. Hey, there we go. So we're getting up in the ranks. Let's see. Oh yeah. So I still have two more retrace attacks, but no one's attacking my base now that it's so strong. <laughs> doesn't really help my situation for that. Hopefully it doesn't go away and I can get it. Otherwise, otherwise we'll miss that one, but that is all for now I'll be back for another raid later in the meantime let's upgrade a B coin mine there we go perfect 12 hours so I'll be back when we're gonna do another raid Alright, I'm back with another update. Um, we got the a new program, the worms. They're super good. 
But we got this message here from Marty saying, okay, I can tell, tell you now, I work for the family. They're expanding their business and would like us to tear down their B-Coin mixing competition. If you can pull it off, you can keep all the B-Coins you find there. Oof. Sounds like a good deal. I'll look into that later. But you guys may have been wondering why there isn't any gain volume. I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know why, but just to let you know, I am upgrading my server farms to level 7. Stuff is getting more expensive now. 65,000, 65,000, 125,000. So it's all really expensive now. So these will really help us. Um, plus the core is also 125,000. So it's really expensive. And then I was thinking about upgrading these, but it just takes a lot of time. Um, unfortunately, I've been doing a lot of traveling today, so this is going to be a short episode. I'll have another one out tomorrow. Let's see. So, just got to loot all the money from seven databases. It's pretty easy. Um, I was going to show you guys this worm here and how it works. I've used it a few times already. Um, it's pretty good. Let me just show you a replay. Alright, so this is a replay of me using the worm. It's, pr it's really good. I, I think it's fun to use as well. Um, see those little black dots so it spreads from node to node after it takes it over it's really cool but that time in between there um, you got to be careful because it can be attacked and be taken back by the antivirus uh, here I had to put a shield on that one because yeah, I took it so fast from the black ice there. But sometimes I need you'll need to just put some beam cannons on it on a node to take out some strong ones. Um, if you do get ahead of the worm from its spread, you know, maybe just leave a few spots open for it to continue along the nodes. Here I was getting a little bit tripped up because this is like the first time I ever used them so I started using the beam cannons I had I mean I, I didn't we don't we don't have much time left so I had to get moving here and it's really cool watch this thing fill up with all worms and that thing just goes down super fast wow look at that watch that thing go down it's so good so it does have its advantages, um, especially since they can spread from node to node, that's pretty big. And here I had to use more beam cannons to get moving along here. So they're a little bit slow since they have to duplicate themselves and multiply. Um, but yeah, it looks like this guy, most of his money is in his storage. Um, I couldn't say for sure when I was attacking this guy, but I figured that out later. And then you can see this node is full, so the worm can't spread to it. So I had to go back and get rid of a beam cannon, so that way it can continue on like that, you just saw. And then it'll help out. There it goes should be spreading there we go so you just need at least one to go through the nodes and there you go the course filling up with them 
It's really quite neat and fun to watch. But there you go. Bam. Another database down. So yeah, guys, that was just a quick example. Um, I might not have another gameplay later of attacking some bases. Because I'm a little short on time today. But I'll for sure have another one up tomorrow. Um, I'll keep you updated. So unfortunately, guys, this is all I have time for today. I'll have some more gameplay tomorrow. Um, but to finish off here, I'm going to keep on upgrading my programs. So I do have just enough to upgrade my ice wall. This is like really helpful so that make a big difference in my hacks and it only takes four hours um, but if you enjoyed leave a like and if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe <laughs>